So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the 2024 Nissan Frontier. In the trim level for this truck I was able to get for this video is the Pro X trim. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the specs that the 2024 Nissan Frontier has and also the cost to own the Nissan Frontier. I mean, this is one of those underrated ones and me personally, I'm not a fan of Nissan, period. But this pickup truck kind of surprised me. Let's talk about that. So like I said in the beginning, this is the Pro X trim, which is a mid-level trim. So this one is gonna start at $37,040. And this one in particular has the color Boulder Gray Pearl, which personally I am a huge fan. I love the look of it. I love the sleekness of it. In order to get this color, it does cost $425. If you don't want a base color that comes with the truck, this one is additional and it also has 17 inch aluminum wheels with all terrain tires. And on this 2024 Nissan Frontier, right above that 17 inch aluminum wheel, you can see the over fender, which I think it is a good touch. And this truck also has Bilstein off-road shocks. As you can see here, you see it also has the dampen assist tailgate, basically meaning whenever you open the tailgate, it won't just slam down like some pickup trucks. It'll actually slowly, gradually go down. And it's also pretty light when you're shutting it as well like some tailgates it has a little bit of like weight to it but this one don't feel as heavy but let's, we're not in the safe zone yet because there is something heavy about this pickup truck that a lot of people complain about and i actually experienced myself but we'll talk about that later in the video right over here if you had something in the back of the truck and you wanted to tie it down you can use these hooks right here and right next to it is a power outlet and another cool feature that comes with this truck, it has LED under rail bed lighting. So it basically lights up the bed of the truck. And this pickup truck does has a trailer hitch and it also has trailer sway control, which can come in handy for those people that pull trailers a lot. And also it has the connections if you want to make sure you plug in your trailer for the lighting to work and the, you know, the turn signal, stuff of that nature. It does have a maximum towing capacity of 6,720 pounds. The 2024 Nissan Frontier has 9.5 inches of ground clearance and also if you can see here it also has the red tow hooks to where if you get stuck or another vehicle gets stuck and you want to help pull them out you can attach it to this and then basically pull them out with these tow hooks okay and as you can see here the headlights to me i mean they're very nice clean good looking it with the overall vehicle but pretty basic but they do have halo gen fog lights underneath the headlights as you can see here check out these off-road step rails which also have frontier going across all of them which i think is pretty neat and if you see in the back seat whenever you're getting in it's very functional basically you step on it of course and then you grab the inside of it to pull yourself in which that is one of those things for pickup trucks that make it a little bit easier to get in and out so the 2024 nissan frontier pro x starting at thirty seven thousand forty dollars if you add in that exterior color for 425 dollars then the msrp will be thirty seven thousand four hundred and sixty five dollars so the delivery fee for this nissan frontier would be one thousand five hundred and ten dollars and let's add in sales tax as well and my area is about seven percent which means Means it will be roughly around $2,728.25. Okay, so let's go inside of the vehicle and see what this is about in the inside. It is a push to start, which I think is interesting. Me personally, I prefer push to start than the key to start. You know, keyless is better in my opinion. And as you can see here, it has charcoal cloth interior with red stitching. And me personally, I really like the touch of the red stitching. They didn't overwhelm it. And if you see my TRD Pro video about the Tundra, it also has a very similar features as far as the color wise, but I think they kind of overdid it. They overdid the red. This is just, you know, just enough, you know, not too overwhelming in my opinion. And surprisingly, I really actually love the cloth material in this pickup truck. Majority of people want leather, but somebody like me who do a lot of different things, I work out a lot, I sweat a lot. When you get in a vehicle that has leather seats and you're sweating, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. But when you get in a vehicle like this that has cloth seats, it's not as uncomfortable. And as you can see behind the steering wheel, it has a seven inch driver assist display, which it does this cool thing. When you start up the truck, it actually show an animation 
modification of the Nissan Frontier, which I think is a pretty cool touch. It also has off-road gauges and blind spot monitoring. So this truck does have a charging pad, but in my experience, it did not work the best. It didn't really charge the phone, but if you see right here, it also has your ports and also an outlet. And then as far as the space go, you got a little bit of space underneath that area. And then also right here in the middle console, and it does have a few places for you to put your belongings. So these front seats are zero gravity, but they are also heated. It does have the option for a heated steering wheel, and it also has options for towing. And of course it has this nice touchscreen display, which I'm not the biggest fan of because it also has a lot of tactile buttons that could also control it. But personally, I know that's a personal preference, but as you can see here, it does have tactile buttons that controls a lot of the different controls with the car. So, and this vehicle does have wireless smartphone integration, meaning it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Wi-Fi hotspot, and it has all those little bells and whistles. And it also has Nissan Safety Shield 360, which it has all the safety features that should come with a 2024 vehicle. All right, so let's jump into the back. And as you can see, it actually has a lot of space in the back. I would say it has good room. As you can see, it got good clearance as well. And right here, you can see your ports. And if you look right here behind me, you can see they have a small window that you manually have to click in the latch and pull it over to the side, which is, Mm, kind of weird for 2024. It also has a little light up here, as you can see, which is pretty dim. I don't think the backlight has to be that spectacular. So say you didn't want to put any money down or $0 down for 72 months at a 8% APR, you would be paying a monthly payment of $731.19. And we all know we need car insurance, so we have to add that as well. And of course, this is a very rough number. This depends on a lot of different things, but the overall average for this vehicle is about $116.75 a month, bringing your monthly cost to $847.94. But there is something cool about the back of this Nissan. It actually has extra storage underneath the seat that you can store some of your belongings underneath there as well. But you could pull the seats down and also have other little latches for other storage if it can't fit in the back of the bed of the vehicle. So I think that is cool about the back seat of the Nissan. And of course, if you pull the center right here, you could see that they have places for cup holders. Of course, you can only fit two people back here once you pull this out, but it does have a place where you could put cup holders. And that's pretty much the back of the Nissan Frontier. Okay, so you know how much your monthly payments would be if you financed the 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro X, but what if you just wanted to drive it off the lot after the MSRP, the delivery fee, the sales tax, and the insurance? Well, that would be $41,820. If you wanted to drive the 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro X off the lot, so my overall opinion, I actually love it. I actually think this vehicle is very underrated, but it does have some negative things. Like I said in the beginning, there are some things that's a bit tough about it, like the steering. It almost feel like it doesn't have any power steering fluid in it. So whenever you're making sharp turns or U-turns, it almost feel like you're struggling to be able to turn the vehicle. But there are some things I did like about the Nissan Frontier. Like I like the way it looks. I love this colorway. I also like the size of it because I also did a review on the Toyota Tundra, the 2024 Toyota Tundra, and that thing is massive. It is a beast. This one is also a beast, but it's not as overwhelming as the Toyota Tundra was. So I do like that about it. And as far as it driving, like when you don't have to turn, when you're driving on the road, it is very smooth. I think they did a really good job. If they fix the power steering, I could see myself being a Nissan Frontier owner. So that's my personal opinion on the 2024 Nissan Frontier Pro X. If you are a Nissan Frontier owner or have the 2024, I want to know your opinions. Let me know in the comments. Or maybe if you're thinking about getting it, you're in the market, you're looking at it. Obviously, you wouldn't have clicked on this video if you didn't have somewhat of an interest for it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But with that being said, I'll see y'all on the next one.